big news this week. The American Medical Association officially classifies obesity as a disease. Now, like any disease, prevention is key, and the best way to do that is to start early by teaching our kids to eat well. Here to talk more about this is naturopathic physician Jarrett Scourin. Good morning, Jarrett. Thanks for coming back on the show. This is a very important topic here. It, it really is, you know, and the way to, to treat something is to prevent it from happening mm -hmm. at all. So it's working with our kids is so important. And, and how does this classification by the a AMA really change the way we look at obesity and how we treat it? Well, what it enforces us to do is that we have to look at it and we have to treat it. And when you're in your doctor's office, now they have to say, this is an illness and you need to do something about it. So we need to talk about your diet. We need to talk about your lifestyle. And it's hard for a lot of people. So it's, it's great for parents to start early with their kids. Okay, a very stark statistic here. I want to throw it out there. According to the CDC, 12 and a half million American children are obese. How does Connecticut fare against other states? You know, Connecticut's one of the worst. You can draw a line wow. from Massachusetts <laughs> down to North Carolina, and those states have the highest levels of childhood obesity in low-income kids. So we, we've got a lot of work to do. That's not news that we want to hear about Connecticut, for sure. Right, right. So we all need to work together and, and get our parents and families involved to make all the little steps you can. Okay, l let's get to some, some good tips here. First, good versus bad food choices. Right. I mean, that's, that's where it all comes. And, and the first foods that I wanted to talk about were our liquids mm -hmm. because there's so much sugar that can be hidden in liquids. So I brought three liquids here. We've got a, a can of soda. We have a, um, a, a natural water, flavored water. Uh -huh. And we've got a fruit drink there. If you were to guess, which one has the most sugar in those three? I mean, I, I think most people would say soda, but I'm, I'm going to go with the fruit juice. It's, it's not the fruit juice. It's actually the natural wow. water. So this natural water has more sugar than the soda does. Wow. So and people think that might be chock full of vitamins and whatnot, they, but there's still sugar. There's still sugar, and you're going to ramp up the calories so fast in these kids. And like we were just mentioning about dehydration in summertime, kids are going to drink a few of those a day and, and exceed their calorie limit. Amazing. Okay, let's talk about snacks. You brought snacks with you. We brought snacks. So the second snack I have here are some uh, classic chips Doritos versus what you mm -hmm. might feel is a more natural marketed chip. And it actually um, says nature on it. It's, so you think it's good for you or not so bad for you. It's great marketing. It says natural vegetable chips, but they're actually just regular potato chips that are, are colored and flavored with, with uh, beets or carrots uh. or spinach. But it's still a potato chip. It has the mm -hmm. same number of calories as the Doritos do, and it has more sodium than the Doritos it, do. This is so hard for parents and for kids because obviously it tastes good, it's sweet. How do you get your kids not to to eat this stuff. You know, that's that's where things are really hard and hopefully early training is best because, you know, you, you go to birthday parties and you go to camps and it's a mm -hmm. holiday and you have all these foods out here and sugar is addicting and salt is addicting and fat is addicting. So hopefully we can work with our kids to introduce mm -hmm. fruits, introduce vegetables and really eat healthy. Okay, let's talk about what else you brought along here. All right, last but not least, I just want to talk about some surprising calorie content. We've got uh, Pop-Tarts on the side there. Uh, a sleeve of Pop-Tarts is 400 calories. Again, that's almost half of a kid's daily diet. The uh, the little Oreo mini pack uh -huh. that you have here, 500 calories in that mini pack. And you've got the, the, uh, the food gummies, which are, are sweet, but they're filled with dyes. And the red dye and the blue dye and the yellow dye, they're all associated with increased risk of ADHD, as well mm -hmm. as causing migraines and allergic attacks. So some, some good alternatives are some organic popcorn or even some cold cuts as a protein alternative. The calorie count is, is almost 80% less. Wow. All right, I want to talk about genetics. Because Great. a lot of people say that, you know, the obesity has a, a lot to do with genetics. Is that the case with children? It, it isn't and isn't. And what what people need to realize is that, you know, even though the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree, it's still a little bit of nurture versus nature. So after the age of seven, whatever your child's weight is from then on has to do with their own diet and their own lifestyle and their own exercise. It's not your genetics anymore. So you can't blame it. You have to train them well. You got to start those habits early on. Okay, Jared Scourin, thank you very Thanks, much for Shirley. coming in this morning to talk about this. Great to be here. Okay.